Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kagem. Oh my gosh, you guys. Today we are going to Gallery Lafayette on the Champs Elysees. I'm going to walk you through this department store. This is actually near Monoprix, it's also near um, HM on the Champs Elysees. Um, I actually really like this department store, and it's really interesting because um, lots of people see it as very touristy. They don't feel like real Parisians go there. I think that this um, Gallery Lafayette boutique serves a purpose, and I think that the purpose it serves is it's really easy to access all of your favorite luxury designer brands in one space that isn't as busy as the main Gallery Lafayette um, boutique in Opera. That um, the department store is incredibly busy. This one was not as busy, not that many people. There's quite a bit of inventory, although for every designer it was limited. So here I'm looking at um, C by Chloe. This is the floor where they have a lot of discovery brands, a lot of emerging brands. So I was looking at C by Chloe there. There are lots of other brands here, um, some that you probably know. These were more like contemporary brands, to be honest with you. They weren't necessarily um, maybe the sort of high-end brands that we normally talk about. Although I do think that there's some contemporary houses that are worth a look. I really like the store design it was still super Christmassy. This Christmas tree is so cute. I was just like, oh my gosh. And I, I love it all. Again, um, there was quite a bit of security, but I think because it's very touristy, they kind of let you mill around and no one really bothers you here. Um, and again, they're just not that many people. I think that this Gallery Lafayette was created for tourists. So here I'm looking at Comme de Garçon. I know some of you love this brand. Really cool, ready to wear. I was just having a look. I was actually really liked the quality of the fabric when I was just looking here. Quite a few of them had been marked down. And then here I was looking at these sunglasses. There's Chloe, there's Balenciaga. I was just <laughs> having a mill about here. There are lots of really cute shades. These were also marked down. I think all of these here, when I was looking, were also marked down. When it pertains to these sunglasses, I feel like sunglasses are so personal. It's hard. And I've said it before, I still think Cherry Lazary makes the best luxury sunglasses in the game. However, I was trying out these ones here. So I put on these ones by Chloe. Normally, like, circular sunglasses are not my thing. Okay, you get me, like, they're not my bag. However, I liked these. I thought these were really cute. I think these were, like, something like 370 or 350 euros, something like that. And then the tax refund. I tried these on from Celine. I also liked these. These reminded me of the uh, Versace Biggie uh, Medusa sunglasses that Notorious B.I.G. wore in some of his rap videos. There's something about the shape that reminded me of them. These were also quite nice. I believe these were like 300 euros. These dual ones were really, really nice. Um, really, really nice. And you know how I feel about dual. You know I'm on the fence about dual, but I like these. I believe these were like 390 euros, something like that. These were really, really nice. I like that shape, that 70s kind of square shape. Um, yeah, now I'm here at Prada. This is the only Prada ready to wear piece that I like. This coat, I was looking at those joggers. This was the only rack of Prada bits I have ever found that I actually liked and that I would wear 100%. Because you know, Prada is not really my thing when it pertains to fashions with a Z. I just like their perfumes. I'm not a massive fan of their press for say, but I did like those. So I was looking around here. There were quite a few people before I started filming this um like footage for Prada who were milling around looking at the reissue bags. The reissue bags being so hot is so interesting to me. Oh my gosh, this bag is cute. I like this one. Um, I like the color. I know you guys love neutrals. I did think that one was really cute. I would wear that one. I thought that's quite nice. Okay, here are the ugly Prada boots. Super creepy, super ugly. Really, really, really don't like those boots. Um, I do not like those shoes at all. They're proper ugly to me. Don't be offended if you have them. It's just my opinion. I'm not saying that I get to, you know, create all of the opinions in the world. It's just my point of view. I, do, I don't like Prada shoes. I, I liked one rack of Prada, okay? You can't be angry at me. I liked one thing. I really don't like these blue ones as well. Just no. Goodbye. I was like, why? Why would someone make, by the way, why would someone make shoes that look like this? Like this blue thing here. Why would you do this, okay? Um, you guys, I'm sorry, I also have to do a voiceover, as you know, I'm doing a voiceover because, you know, you can't just be walking around department stores talking to yourself, you look absolutely barking mad into the camera, okay? 
you they will think that you know you're a reseller or something maybe live streaming or like shooting for your clients so i have to do a voice over here here are the very famous chanel coco neige boots these are like two in one i do think these are really cute the fabric is quite nice here are the chanel 22c trainers i really like these i know there are lots of you who don't like them but i like the 22c trainers look blue trainers you know i don't like blue okay here we went to Bottega, so this is a concession. I love the sunglasses from Bottega. They look very high-end. And the fact that they put them in the sunglass case, I was like, all right, Bottega, all right. Um, the cassette bags at this concession were hysterical. You see that black one? After I finished filming here, I picked it up and then it fell over. <laughs> it was really cringe. I had to put it down. Here's some of the Bottega ready-to-wear. It's quite nice. I mean, some of those jumpers were quite nice. I was quite impressed with the ready-to-wear. Um, I'm going to have to look into the ready to wear. Um, if they do like a lot of men's, if they do a lot of men's wear, I will look into it for Edwin because some of it was very nice. Here is the Balenciaga concession. My favorite concession out of the whole Gary Lafayette. Love the ready to wear. Now that I finally like touched the fabric. Oh my gosh, look at this blue jumper. You know, blue's not my thing, but I love this. I thought it was just so nice. It was just so big. That's the problem. Their sizing is huge because they use like oversized cuts. There's this t-shirt here. This was quite cute as well. I like this t-shirt. I know people don't like logos. I do though. So I was like, ooh. I like this cursive logo um, press of forte bit as well. I really like the Balenciaga concession. There was an essay there, but the essay like saw me filming, didn't really care, said hello to me as well and was like, let me know if you need anything. I was like, okay. I love this black one. I believe this black one here is the cotton blend one, which I think I've told you guys about. They have like a wool mix and a cotton mix. This one here, the pink one I believe is wool and the other one is cotton blend. I feel like for the weather here, that one is probably better for me because it will go better with the weather here. That's a, that's a cardigan, I beg your pardon, but that one isn't as heavy as the as the pink one. That's a Balenciaga t-shirt, which I also like. OMG, I love this denim jacket sprayed on with the, the Balenciaga beads at the back in pink. These beautiful lilac Balenciaga t-shirts. Lilac is still massive in luxury fashion. These were super, super cute. There's also this. I really like the ready to wear that I saw there. And then here, I'm just kind of milling about. Look at these YSL shoes. God, are they comfy? Does anyone have those shoes? Let me know. This is Junior Watanabe. I really like this wool jumper. This is really, really nice. This looks perfect for like apres ski and going on like a ski holiday. I was impressed here also with Balma. Balma's ready to wear looks way better in real life. It's, of course, it runs small. There's no doubt about it. I did find my size of Balenciaga, so that was exciting. But um, Balma's clothing is fantastic. I love this dress. I think it's so cute. And then here we're at Fendi, lots of baguettes, lots of ready to wear. I just loved every single thing that I saw when I was at Gallery Lafayette today. Make sure that you keep watching for much more. Okay, you guys, by now you should have seen the footage that I filmed at Gallery Lafayette. Sorry, I have to use my hands because I'm charging my new camera, so I'm using my phone to film this part of the video. I hope it's okay with you. Um, okay, so what did you guys think of what I filmed? I must say I was kind of like interested in what I saw there. I really, really liked the Balenciaga concession. There was, um, the Balenciaga concession was really cool. I saw the famous jumper, but they only had it in blue. Um, I was interested in pink or in black and white. It's very, very heavy. It's very, very, very oversized. It looks very oversized online, but it looks way bigger than I expected. So um, I want to think about it a little bit more. It's still on my wish list, but I think I need the, they have, they have a fitted one that's like a cotton blend. I think that's better for the weather in Tanzania. So I'm still gonna think about it. Can always order it online. They had lots of Balenciaga hourglass bags. They, they are fake croc, it's mock croc, you know, that's, you know how I feel about mock croc, but they're still super cute. They've got some leather ones as well. They've got those, the Balenciaga City reissue bags. They were super, super cute. I really like those. Um, They kind of let you mill around in there in the Gallery Lafayette Champs-Élysées. No one really approaches you or asks you if you need help. Everyone kind of just leaves you alone. I think they, they know tourists want to kind of mill around in there without kind of being told like, hey, do this, do that, do that. Um, but yeah, I really like liked what I saw. Definitely a Balenciaga. I think that was my favorite concession. I saw the very famous Chanel 20TC trainers that we've all seen on Instagram and in vlogs and things like that. 
I liked them. The yellow ones are really nice. I believe those 22C ones, they start at like 800 euros and they go up to 970. It depends what types of materials and leather. Some of them are suede, which is a bit scary because you know suede, if it, if it like gets rainy, you know what's gonna happen to your suede bag, honey. Okay, your suede bag is gonna be like, ah! I'm going now. So um, yeah, those were quite nice. I really liked um, those trainers. I know many people do not like the trainers, but I like them. I thought they're really nice. They also had the Coco Neige um, zip up uh, boots in white. Those ones that are like a two in one boot. Those are super cute. They had a Bottega Veneta stand. Bottega have got really nice sunglasses, but the cassette bag is heavy. I picked one up and it kind of fell over. I was like, I'm gonna put it down now. <laughs> because <laughs> I was like I'm not trying to be dragged okay they had a Prada concession of course you've seen um I probably have added some footage or pictures um I'm not, as you know I'm not a massive Prada fan I like Prada's perfumes um I think Prada makes the best perfumes in the luxury universe I said it but I'm not here for the fashions with a Z. Um, I just don't really get it. I don't like the reissue nylon bag. I've never liked it. I'm amazed that it's back and it's popping right now. Um, good for them, but it's just not my personal taste, but whatever, I'm sure they don't care what I think. Um, but um, I did see this like puffer coat, coat. There was like a coat and a jacket. They were really, really nice. I saw them. There were these really cute like um, lilac um, and sort of like a light pastel green. Um, re I think those are also reissue bags. I posted them on my Facebook page, by the way. So go join me on Facebook. And yeah, um, Prada's not, it's just not really something that I'm particularly interested in. They had a Fendi concession. Um, there was some Fendi ready to wear. They had a Balmain concession. They had some of the Balmain dresses, they're tiny. Like I saw one dress, it's absolutely tiny. It's so beautiful. They had a Junior Watanabe concession. It's the first like um, department store that I've seen that has Junior Watanabe. And they had a Junior Watanabe jumper, which is obviously very well known for men. So it was a really nice woolly jumper. I saw that. There was a Comme des Garçons. Um, it's a very small department store because it's obviously the Champs Elysees outpost of Galerie Lafayette. It's much smaller. It's much more sleek. There are way more emerging brands there. So there was like Jerome Dreyfus. Um, there was Jacques Mousse. There was um C by Chloe. It's not emerging, but you know what I'm trying to say. There are way more like contemporary houses there. Um, so if you like contemporary brands, you see them there. They had a really cool sunglass like installation. I tried on some sunglasses. Um, I tried a few bits on. I tried on some from Dior. I tried on some from Chloe. The Chloe ones I really, really liked. I also tried on some shades from Celine. Um, so yeah, I tried a few on and they had some that were also on sale because, you know, in January they tend to have sales. Um, so yeah, I mean, what did I think of it? Would I go there again? Yes, if they had a different stock. I really liked the Chanel um, concession for the trainers. I was really impressed with it. There was a lady, she was helping some clients. So I was able to take pictures because she was like helping the clients. Um, there are a lot of different, just different concessions in there, if that's your thing. I must say, whoever, whomever or whichever company is running Galerie Lafayette Champs-Élysées, I think they're doing a fantastic job because it felt very safe as well. I think they have obviously opened it because they want tourists to like go there in case like maybe someone's staying on the Champs-Élysées or staying in the 8th eighth, eighth arrondissement. You can just go there instead of going to Opera. And because the Gallery Lafayette, the main one at Opera is like so crazy. It's so busy. There's so many people there. This one is much more quieter. It doesn't have as much stock, but it's got all of the hot pieces. So Balenc had the logo jumper. Prada, they have the reissue bags. Fendi, they had the calligraphy, press a porte They've got the Balmain dresses that everyone loves as well. So I really hope that you have liked this shopping video. I would love to know what you think about it. Please make sure that you tell me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, join the Facebook page and join the group. And yeah, follow me on TikTok, follow my luxury Instagram. Got any questions for me, you know what to do. You can just ask me, you can send me a DM, you can send me an email um, and I'll get back to you. Um, I'd love to, yeah, just hear what you guys think. Do you like these video formats, by the way? Like next time I travel, do you like these formats where I take clips, I show you an introduction and then I kind of walk you through the things that I saw. I'd love to know what you think of this format because um, I told you I'm coming back to Paris, honey, okay? Because I need to come back here, baby. Like I'm not finished with this place. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video.